Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you guys and it's going to be a DIY room decor inspired by Summer and Pinterest. So I don't know about you, but I live out in California and the weather out here is getting pretty hot these days. It's been 80 all this week and I think it's going to be like 80 next week as well. So I'm preparing myself for summer. So if you want to summerify your room a little bit with some cool DIYs, go ahead and keep on watching. Start out by painting your wood the background color that you would like and here's a tip if you don't have your color that you would like mix some white paint and food coloring to get the color that you would like next you can take some stencils or I made my own and I just laid them out how I want them just to see kind of where everything needed to be and then I traced around them once you have everything drawn out, go ahead and paint in between the lines any color of your choosing. I chose a corally color that I mixed orange and pink and then I went in with some black. And this is how mine turned out after everything was all done. project go ahead and print off a picture that you would like I chose a picture of some palm trees flip it over and draw different sized circles on the back and make sure that if you're doing two circles by each other that didn't touch so when you glue your picture together it all adds up into one picture if that makes sense Next, go ahead and lay your pictures out so you know where to glue them. And I'm going to glue them onto this piece of fence that I found at a thrift store. Once you are done gluing all your circles down, go ahead and set something heavy on top of them so they don't curl up because they tend to do that when they are wet. Once everything is dried, I took the books off and then I added some clothespins. You don't have to do this, you can totally leave it how it is because I think it'd be cute that way. But I wanted to add something extra so I just hot glued some clothespins on. All you're going to need is to start out with a white piece of paper and I'm taking a post-it note and tracing around it just to get a perfect square to put in place of the post-it note and then around that I'm going to draw a bigger rectangle using a ruler. Then down below that I'm going to trace out four more squares using the post-it note. So now I am just going to draw out the words goal list for, but if you want, you can totally go ahead and write to do list or things to do. And in the next space in the square next to it, you'll put like this week or this month or for just today. Next, if you want to just add some designs around it, you can. I just went for these rainbow shapes and I just added them to the bottom of the rectangle. Now go over everything with a sharpie just to get a more clean, bold look. Lastly, take your post-it notes and write out your goals for the week. this 
corkboard fruit project. I am going to use some corkboard that I got from Joann's for $4. <laughs> Next, taking a stencil that I drew of a pear, I stuck it down with some pins just so the paper would stay in place as I cut around it. Next, just take some green paint and paint the entire thing. Next for the pineapple, I took this pale orange color and just did a whole bunch of triangles on it. I did them from being right side up to upside down. Then I go in with some yellow paint and add it to the triangles just to add some dimension to them. Next for the watermelon, I just cut out this D shape and then went around the border of it with some green paint. Then you'll fill it in with some pink paint and then um, use some black paint to add in the seeds. <laughs> Lastly, I'm taking these double sided squares that came with the cork boards to put on the back to hang them on the wall nice and easy so I don't have to punch any holes in the wall with any nails or pins. <laughs> Lastly, this one isn't so much of a DIY as I just printed off these pictures and the one that I am going to point at is one I made myself. So if you don't really want to spend any money on DIYs, it's just a way to summer up your room a little bit. And I hung these up with some binder clips that I already had pinned on my wall and I just stuck them in there. watching i hope you guys enjoyed it if you recreate any of these diys go ahead and tweet them to me at my twitter everything will be in the description below if you want to follow me on social media also if you're new here go ahead and click that subscribe button because i make some pretty awesome videos and i'm pretty awesome myself and my giveaway is going to be ending on april 12th so if you haven't already entered it go ahead and do so i will leave the link to the giveaway down below but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you guys next time stay